shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I must be dreaming. I must be dreaming. Come on, get me out. Get me out. Help, help. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're up. Navigate her through the darkness of the space. And don't you worry, I'll take care of you. Your systems are rebooting now. But first, keep your eyes open. Esse jogo é estilo, estilo Souls-like, meio futurístico. É, mas tá meio difícil enxergar com esse branco todo aqui. Bem difícil enxergar. É, se eu tenho vigor, eu não tô vendo não. Ah, bonitão tá enchendo o sangue. Aqui em cadeia, desviar, ataque secundário, trava alvo, esquiva. Beleza. Como é que eu saio daqui? Living in their water, the lady of the lake. In the don't trust anybody except me. Arose after all. We had our doubts. 
you. I would blame that malfunctional belt of yours. Yet you seem fully operational now. Go, and start paying your debt. What? I'm not dead? I had this horrible nightmare, and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the Ascended. So how can I know you're not a hallucination yourself? Who are you, anyway? I am Maltus, Patriarch of the Keepers. We will explain everything in good time. Come back later if you have questions. Now we need you to cooperate. Cooperate? Yes. You will proceed to Tobias for training. Like now? I mean, everything is still a little fuzzy. I would appreciate some time to... We would appreciate your immediate compliance. Without perfecting your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, you will be doomed to perpetual death, which... Hold on there. What? Perpetual death? Indeed. You bear the gift of immortality, hence... Immortality? So, I can't die? If you'd allowed me to finish, you would have already known. No. You die ordinarily. Oh. Then you are born again. Such is the power of the belt you carry. We are analyzing it, and don't have validated outputs to share with you yet. What? That's all you have to say here? Yes. Now go and meet Tobias already. My servant will show you the way. Oh, just one more thing before you go. We shall call you Silver, our regular naming proto- What? No, my name is- Oh, shit. I honestly have no idea. Yet we do. Silver was the only name available on your Christum. The naming protocol says it will have to suffice. I would much rather pick my name- Enough! We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. But- Humans. Always disrespectable of the habits and cultures of others. The rat company will suit you. Hey, you rat. E. Estamos aí no jogo. Como diz o Lenin, ele tem uma pegada de seus like, meio futurístico. Então, vai ser nesse ritmo, tá? Para que, que a gente tem que? É... Modo sombrio. Então, eu queria mexer no brilho. É, mas se desconfigurou aqui, né? O cornista. Versões de brilho aqui. Acho que tá bom por aí. Aí. getting a raw deal here. Well, they're rats. Nobody's gonna cook for them. Ha ha ha. Funny. You know that's most likely why he was stealing food in the first place. Where is your sense of justice? Are you really trying to give me a sense of justice talk because I did the right thing and reported a theft? Why can't you be rational about this? I honestly think we have enough of our own problems here. Like finding our spaceship and getting out of here. Oh, so now you are suddenly sure we have a spaceship? Well, no, but it's only logical. We couldn't have just appeared here out of thin air. 
Um, hello? Like that guy. Great to meet you, man. Ah, oh, sorry, my manners. It's Brian. Silver, likewise. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this mess. You're not. I'm Petra. Silver. Well, Silver, now you know everyone worth knowing around here. Oh, come on. Marco? <laughs> True, he is a bit of an a-hole, but he's one of us. Great. Well, tell me everything. That spaceship, for instance. Honestly, we don't know much either. We all got the same briefing. Go and start paying your debt. Training. Now. <laughs> same for you? That's actually pretty accurate. Right. So you'd really better go now. If Tobias sees us delaying your training session, he will get pretty pissed. Brian is right. They take things quite seriously around here. But let's talk later. Tobias won't talk to you forever. Can't wait. Well, let's do this. See you soon, guys. See you, Silver. I'll be somewhere far away from this prejudiced hypocrite. Oh, come on. Can't we just... Honey. So, what do we have here? 103081. 7AW. Well, pretty sure that's not a distilling ship hull classification, so some dates, probably? And this would be Noboru, I guess. All pale and boring, even while probably celebrating. Although, using computers, communicators, this doesn't add up. Actually, this whole scene looks pretty high tech, like a new spaceship launch party. Or an open house at a new research base. Which is crazy, so either it's not Noboru, or this place was buzzing with technology back in the days. Curious. Well, it certainly isn't buzzing now. <laughs> hmm. I believe that this game is open world. Okay, guys. So... Last of the Ori crew. Oh, lowly. I always forget. I, I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. Just call me Silver. Noted. I'm sorry you had to suffer the smell of those stinky rat asses along your way, Ascended One. We're short of ends these days. I'm Tobias. My meagre self will be responsible for your training. We will follow standard protocols and have you ready shortly. Right, that dreamy glowing stick behind you will be a part of the training too. The mighty rod of lightning? No, it certainly will not. I might not be the most competent teacher, but I can tell the limits of my pupils. And I will make you die with some dignity. Not just by accidentally frying yourself. Let me know when you're ready. I'll provide you with one lucky spar rat. Hmm. Ah, temos diálogo também. I'd rather not die at all. So, training. How do we start? First, find yourself a sword in the armory. I won't bother you with another ratchet to lead you. It's easy to find. You just need to go back through the same passageway by which you came here. It's at my right hand. Once you're at the end of it, turn right. It's the first door just around the corner. There is a giant shield above, easy to spot. Equip yourself there and come back. Okay. Conversa. É, na terra a gente não tá, isso é óbvio, né? Bem óbvio. Né? Ou você abre desse lado. Dá pra 
Jadi Aí disso a gente pegar espada e escudo, mas já tem. Então o que a gente tem aqui? Temos o personagem com vida, vontade, disposição, força, destreza, intelecto, armadura, né? Tá, inventário, arte curativa, jogo de machado. Nós temos aqui. Ah, a gente vai ter relações também. É, então vai ser de mundo aberto, né? Mosteiro. Tá, a gente tem 120 de vigor, 0 de ouro, mana, 30 e vida. Beleza. Tá fechada. Fechada. Cadê a espada, meu amigo? Não achei a espada aqui, não. Hey! Hey, stranger! Sorry about Brian. How did the training go? How are you feeling? Happy to be immortal? And what do you make of all this? Whoa, can we take those one at a time? I'm still kind of trying to figure this place out. Oh yes, sorry. I know I can be a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> But hey, no worries. I know that feeling all too well. What do you remember? For me, there was light, and then this ugly, mushy face of some kind, then a fast flash, or maybe a reflection, and pain. And that's it, all my memories. Super hazy. How about you? Yeah, I remember some woman screaming, and then something killed me, I guess. Sounds a bit similar to yours, actually. Which is weird. That Maltus guy told me that mine was only a hallucination. Maybe a collective one, then. <laughs> no, I am serious. This might mean he knows more than he says. Well, he surely knows more, but he's also not telling. Believe me, I have tried. I guess that's the real reason the Whiteys call themselves the Keepers. <laughs> Maybe I'll go and ask him. Well, have fun. Good news, though. He probably won't kill you. I mean, just for asking. <laughs> probably, yeah. He wouldn't get his hands dirty. He has to buy us for killing us softly. At least we can't really die now. Well, that's also something I'm still quite lost about. What's with the training then? Are they going to throw us in a pit and make us fight? My imagination is really running wild here. Well, 
Sort of. <laughs> we would make for mean pit fighters. No pity for us, since we can't die and whatnot. <laughs> now you've got me worried a bit more. Nah, keep your cool. It's not that bad, once you get used to it. That sorry old guy there, that's Tobias. He teaches us how to fight with different cold weapons. Honestly, I have no idea why. He doesn't even seem to be enjoying it. Maybe you'll have better luck asking him yourself? Eu vou sair. Porque eu preciso achar essa arma. Tem arma aqui, mas cadê a arma? Não pega. A gente tem essa barra aí amarela de vigor, né? Aqui eu vim daqui. Amigo, mas cadê essa espada? Essa espada esse escudo. Aqui o refeitório. Vou pegar alguma coisa? Não, não, não. Aqui não abre. É difícil fazer um treinamento desse jeito porque... Não acho a espada Quebra outras não. Até agora eu não achei essa espada nem esse escudo. Já vim aqui tudo. Deixei de. Eu não observei alguma coisa. Aqui uma cama. Descendo, Ai, cadê essa espada? Esse escudo, meu jovem, não tem nada aqui. Não 
another key. Ou oh, o jogo bugou. Ficou até bugado esse aí. Ou. Oh. Não sei, porque as armas não estão tá aqui não. Looking for sword? Talking rats. Right. This probably can't get any weirder. No offense, just never heard a rat talk before. They told me... They sent pups for sword. Looking for sword? Probably. I should get something to train with. Yes. They not want you to destroy good blue steel, master. They give bronze first. Not as good metal, uh, but master takes. Edgy, slim, and with a tan exactly my type. How did you know? I give you best fun I have. Only one bronze left, so it's easy. The same for complementary shield. Complementary? That's a complicated word. I did not say master. You did? Must hurt somewhere. Sorry. Naboru took straight, master. Now, sword one hand, shield another. And go train with other pups. Hope you be better than they. Hmm. Beleza. Valeu, tava precisando disso. Você tem uma coisa aqui? Sword, shield. I feel ready. And silly, but mostly ready. Good. We'll follow the protocol and start easy. This is just a warm-up. More of an execution than a fight. That rat shit was stealing in the kitchen. Use it to find out how sharp your sword is. Wait a minute, I thought you said spar rats. Like in a non-killing practice sparring. <laughs> you are funny. It's just rats. We don't consider it killing. Let's commence with your lesson. Rule one. Blows are best to be avoided. Perception and planning. Rule two. If you can't avoid a blow, use your shield for protection. That's it. Learning by doing and dying is my credo. Just don't forget to use your sword to deliver the execution. Muito bem. Hey, convict. Execution time. Tem sangue, hein? Oh. Curious style, but you have delivered results. Let us proceed. This one took part in the previous uprising. It is strong, vicious, has the blood of many innocents on its paws, looks clumsy. But beware, they have trained him well. Who did? That ratkin renegade scum, hiding in this stinking volcano, killing our kin. They all deserve to be executed. Start with this one. Learn as much as you can in the process. Yeah, sounds like a great learning experience. Use all the skills you've acquired in a previous sparring session and focus on using the rolls to avoid stronger attacks. Here's a little healing help. Practice using it sparingly. Oh. 
I don't feel ready. Then make yourself ready. Time is scarce. Ah, beleza, cura. É, não mudou muita coisa aqui não. Escudo. Tá, se a gente tem esse escudo assim, essa espada desse jeito, a gente vai ter equipamentos, né? Com certeza a gente vai craftar, a gente é bem provável que a gente aprimore, né? that rat suffering greater by postponing its execution silver respect but you really need to proceed we are in a hurry i don't really feel like taking lives but it's not like i have a real say in this let's get this over with move i said move you overgrown rat Mudança de relações. Beleza. Vamos separar o rato aí. É, mas o, o foco aqui não é muito preciso não, hein? Ah, Silver. I see you're still trying to pick your own destiny. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, you failed miserably at surviving while doing so. I would suggest focusing on following the training protocol instead. Rest assured that Tobias will get you prepared, possibly. Duly noted. I would also suggest rejoining him immediately by using the door by your left hand. Duly noted. Okay, difficuldade. Mod story, mod sombria. Não, mod sombria tá ótimo. Quero um estilo Souls Like. Não vai pegar um ataque rápido. Né? É, a caixa não quer destruir mesmo. Pegamos nossa essência. Defesa não, embaixo não. Mas o ataque dele não tem defesa não. Tá certo. Essa essência provavelmente é pra gente evoluir. É... Ah, 
Ah, que isso. Esse golpe dele não tem defesa, não. Develop vital survival skills. If you fail, only perpetual death awaits you. Tá bom. Tá bom. Ah, então esses ataques dele não tem defesa. Tá certo. Então isso tudo não vale de nada. Vou atacar, né? Que usa escudo pra nada serve pra nada. Olha, serve de nada o escudo. Ah, ah legal. Tem magia também. O que eu tô gostando aqui, galera, é que o efeito de sangue no chão fica bem da hora, né? E ao menos o comando tá respondendo bem. O gráfico não é tipo, ah, nova geração, que negócio todo, mas... That serves that child-eating monster right. The soul of my poor niece can now ascend in peace. Well done, Silver. You'll be ready for the cradle and Livel soon. What cradle? And who is Livel? Oh, lowly. Me and my premature informing. Focus. We will discuss the fortress later. First, something to restore your health. You'll be in dire need of it very soon. Now it's time to commence the real training. You will need some real weapons for that. Get them at the armory and come back. Beleza. Olha, meu equipamento. Acho que não ganhamos experiência ali, né? You are back again, master. They sent me to... Yes, master. Get better things to better kill our kin. Like you killed Fink and Durg. Praterus, just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. Ok, armas e magia. Feitiço e intelecto. Your guilty conscience. Tá, então vai ter facções também. Três facções aí. E cada uma vai dominar um elemento. Tá, agora a gente tem que fazer o que? Nós temos que. Registro aqui. I see you are ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. And no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Yeah. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim, but with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality to me. It's the best way to learn in the short time we have. 
No second chances. No room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. Well, let's do my best then. Marco, enter and commence. Ah. Alright, it's time to kick the newbie's ass. Ah, that's it. Go bleed, you know? Ah, mas você nem, nem deixou. Tem nem chance de... O cara não tem defesa não, velho. Olha. Ah, senti o seu sangue, né, bonitão. Esse esquiva. Muito bom. Beaten by a newbie, huh? Whoa! What's going on? Wow! I knew you had it in you, Silver. This new hope needs to be reported immediately. You have to inform the Patriarch. Yeah, really looking forward to being subtly insulted over and over again. No, he'll be more than pleased. Take this. Go. Right. What is it? My lucky ring. Toughened in the hell of war. Take it and go. Go, go, go. Beleza. Tá, vamos aqui inventar. Opa. Inventar aqui. É, intelecto nós temos menos... Menos três, né? Tá, temos um de agilidade e força. Inteligência três mais dez. É não, isso deve ser da espada. Tá. O que a gente tem aqui? Anel bruto. Acho que já tá equipado, né? É, já tá equipado. Hum. Eu posso um só? Pera aí. É. Ah, posso dois. Né? Agora tá catando de treino dez por cento de lampejante refúgio no outro lado um arma com um lampejante. Ah, tá então minha katana tá com treme de raio, né? É um contra-ataque. Eu tô no nível 1 ali, mas eu queria ver se dá pra gente evoluir, mas... Não dá, né? Vamos lá no patriarca. Weakling returns. What do you want from me? Me? Nothing. Honestly. Tobias just says hello. Are you toying with my patience? Oh, sorry. He also said that I should, I quote, report this new hope immediately. What kind of new hope? You would have never guessed. It seems that I'm not a weakling after all. I knocked out Marco, and also Tobias' socks off while I was at it. Impossible. I would need to see that with my own. What was that? Oh, lowly. The queen is coming. Mm. That's too early. Too early. Give me your weapons. Tobias.
Tobias. Dispatch the order crew to their respective missions and come back. We'll keep Silver here. He's not ready. Come! Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the Queen. Bring the lightning rod to the armor. I'll meet you there. Your Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence! Now go! Move in! Your Majesty, I don't understand words. Silence! You lowlife! You have broken your vows! Marshal. We know you are hiding forbidden technology and... Dear Gracchus, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire proof to support your claims. Patriarch, our guards are probing your premises rigorously. And if they find anything unorderly... Beleza, tem um sindicato de ameaça. Tem um desconto de escofiômetro, né? Opa! Deu ruim, hein? Ah, não tem arma, não tem nada. Fechar a porta, nem vou pular não. <risos> Beleza. Perfect. Give me the rod now, so I can hide it. Here you go. But it was a very close cut. Next time I'll just do the things my way. No more sneaking. Just give me the rod, quick. Here you go. Flawless. I will make sure it doesn't fall into unworthy hands. Secret room. Now it all makes sense. You stay out. It's not safe for you to slide. Open the door. The Queen is known to lose her temper. We should not make her wait. Oh. What are you two lovebirds doing here? 
Her Majesty asks for your presence. She wishes to speak with everyone in private, one by one. You first, go and see the Queen. Come closer. Ah, that's unlikely. An earthling. Our dear Gracchus was right. Allow us to take you for a walk. We need answers. Fast. And don't you try to fool us, Ascended One. Unlike our dim-witted half-brother, we don't dwell on old legends. Hold on. Could I also get some answers? Like, maybe right now? I have no clue whatsoever what's going on here. My memory is one black hole and nobody tells me anything. Like that Gracchus. What was he right about? Pardon us. We have spoken too harshly. We didn't know you were kept in oblivion. Our dear Gracchus says the Keepers are scheming. We are here to investigate. We presume that they have tried to make you part of their scheme. Yeah, I wish I could confirm or deny that. Well, rest assured that nothing you were told here is true. You can have faith in your Queen and confide in us. Now, come with us to the cliffs. We shall show you something. Do it. This used to be a breathtaking view. Glorious Wardinia. But now, the world, once orderly, is distorted. The rats can sense the change and lurk behind its veil. We also have those other lurking problems, Your Majesty. Indeed, Marshal. Let us finish. You see, Earthling, ghastly things are now vexing our realm. Twisted abominations, lightning weapons. We are here to put those monstrosities to a halt. Yet the burden lies too heavy on our shoulders. If not a king by our side, as many say, we could use a friend right now. I have been here for literally just a few hours. Putting monstrosities to a halt probably wouldn't be my forte just yet. Being a friend, though, that could be arranged. Guards, bring those traitors. <laughs> Friendship is easy to proclaim, Earthling. We would prefer actions that speak louder than words. Tell us, friend, have you seen any such atrocities here? Warped mutants, lightning weapons? If so, speak freely. Our wrath will not fall upon you, and our gratitude is generous. Hmm. No mutants, as far as I can tell, and all they gave me were shitty cold weapons and cold looks. They have some advanced weapons, though I have even seen a steel sword once. That's all. We wish we could believe you. Our sources say otherwise, though. We were hoping to find definite proof, but it seems this visit was in vain. This makes the situation even more complicated. Patriarch Maltis, we have sufficient information to believe you and Tobias were plotting treason. Is this Earthling part of your schemes? Would you care to clear your name? Or should we have the whole monastery thoroughly searched? Our men would surely find a secret passage or two, given enough time. And believe us, our present rage is nothing compared to the havoc that would be wreaked upon your head then. Speak up, or... Your Majesty, behold! Fortress is under attack. Rats again! How unsurprising, yet unsettling. to head back at once. 
Marabufus can't hold the fortress effectively with the limited crew he has. You, take two more men. Stay here and make sure nobody leaves this place. Incarcerate the culprits, of course. And give them what they deserve. They deserve a fair investigation, dear Gracchus. You, Marshal, and the rest of our guard shall follow us to the fortress. Let's squash this pesterous rat rebellion and feed the bodies to his pet. Then we shall return to investigate further. Another rat attack? After all these years? So unfair. Mauling the traitors for us. All the real fun for old Buffer still he won't get out of this one alive. He might, with his fancy armor. Wearing our substandard crap, he would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> What took you to stop? Where is Livo? Lost one! Oh! Useless human dunk! I've seen a lot, but this. Did all that smacking give me a concussion? Or did you see that too? You mean that huge, ugly man blob that dragged Maltis away? And that's something I can't unsee. At least those guards got what they deserved. Beating a defenseless veteran? Shame. Justice has been served, albeit by a monster. Do you get those a lot around here? Mutants? Giant rats? The biodiversity here is disturbing, to say the least. That attack was disturbing. Those stinky rats will try to burn down our beloved city next. Why would they do that? Because they can't just accept our natural superiority, of course. Anyway, we should leave before the Queen returns. She was also rather disturbed. Luckily, you fetched that lightning rod in time. Yes, with the emphasis on that luck bit. I hope my sneaking times are over. I almost failed, and the Queen would have then... I don't know, probably killed us all? I'm certain she would have had us all kicked down the cliffs, or worse. Yeah, no doubt. She seemed to be totally off her rocker. Since you've proven yourself, Silver, I'll accept you as my apprentice. You can call me master now. I wasn't really expecting that. Well, thank you, I guess. Master. Are we seriously doing this? Thank you, master. I'll need your cooperation to get out and deal with the rat problem. I would hate to rot here forever. Count me in. Master. Ugh. Count me in, Master. Bom, galerinha, essa aí foi uma hora desse jogo. Esse jogo é bem interessante. É... Ele parece bem da hora. I would hate to die here. Could we focus on the rat problem now? So, how do we take care of the rat problem, Master? The guards have treated me in a rather harmful way. I could benefit from some medical assistance first. You're starting to sound like Maltis, you know that? Well, I'm his deputy in charge now, and with great power comes great vocabulary. Anyway, I would need you to find me a med kit. We were handing them out to Ori crew. I'm sure they left some behind. Check the cells above the training ground. Should I expect more man blobs, Master? Or anything else? Maybe. That's why you should first visit our secret armory. Here is the key. I hereby give you permission to use the mighty lightning rod. You shouldn't be handling it. But alas, we have no other choice. I am honored, but wouldn't it be more useful in your hands, Master? I will be relieved not having to operate it anymore. 
Forbidden weapons were the Patriarch's idea. Just bring me a simple katana. Also, equip yourself properly. It might prolong your life cycle out there. Well, your pep talks are keeping their high standards, I must give you that. I will do my best, Master. I have it for you, Master. I found it in one of the cells, like you said. Satisfactory result, my disciple. Let me mend my wounds now. Bom, então isso aí, galera. My body stopped bleeding now. My heart still is. We should get going. I will need a weapon. Então é isso aí, galera. Espero que vocês tenham gostado ou não. Não deixe de comentar, dá um tapa no like. Se você não é inscrito aí, se inscreve aí no canal. E toca o sininho para receber notificações. Então, é isso aí, galera. Até o próximo vídeo. Então, Kotaro e Tukiri saindo aqui. Falou, até mais e sayonara. Interesting. Ah! Captain's log, 103-088-0721. First day awake on Wardenia, Forcefield State, satisfactory. Needed to modify the terminal extensively. Luckily, I can update the rest remotely. After modifications, coverage will be sufficient to make the belt work properly almost everywhere. With the last update, the belt is now fully operative, also as a life support system. Meaning if I get killed, it revives me. Marvelous. This should provide me with enough leverage when dealing with those Naburu technocrats. Which I recall was never easy, even after the ship's training systems uploaded the same language to our brains. So, this should help if the discussion gets heated. Note, aging is still a factor, so not full immortality. Focus on the possibility to revert to a younger physical self while retaining all the information, later when there is time. Project Holo Help, mixed results. My hard-like companion is operative and proves useful for simple tasks. I still wasn't able to grant him fuller autonomy. To fix list. Extend the range to make useful for long-distance errands. Add a mouth and basic AI for easier communication and feedback. I wish I could wake the rest of the crew. The mission seems to be gravely endangered. Ida insists that protocol doesn't allow for that. Says we've lost enough personnel already. True, but the logic behind her reasoning seems flawed. This way, she might lose me too. Oh well. Now back to work, I need to learn a lot about this place. Over.